Hi everyone, welcome back to All for the Kids with Miss C. I hope you're all doing well. I'm coming back today with part seven of our Geronimo Stilton Lost Treasure of the Emerald Eye series. I hope you all have enjoyed it so far. If you haven't read or seen or watched the YouTube videos for parts one through six, the videos will be in the description below so you can take a look there and come back for part seven. I hope you guys enjoy line up that night we slept in the big tree on the other side of the waterfall we lay in our hollow where two branches joined our backs were pressed together for support still i didn't sleep a wink i was too afraid of falling out of the tree next morning we all gathered for a meeting we had to decide who would be in charge on the island we will vote by a show of paws i said of course trap voted for himself Thea voted for me and Benjamin and I gave her our votes to Thea. My sister cleared her throat. Friends, I want you to know you won't regret your choice, she said, wiping away a small tear. Then, line up now, she shouted. I will begin by assigning your duties. At noon, you will report to me and you will be on time. When I say noon, I mean noon, not one minute before, not one minute later. Is that quite clear? I don't hear you. Ugh, she's already gotten a swollen head. I knew I was right to vote for myself, muttered Trap under his whiskers. Thea was walking up and down the beach. We shall build a shelter under the tree. It will take us two, no, three days to finish it. Then we will leave in search of the Emerald Eye. Trap's eyes lit up again. The treasure? Now we're talking, he grinned. In the meantime, Thea had grabbed a sheet of paper and was scribbling down tasks for all of us. Geronimo, you will take care of provisions. You'll gather fruit, berries, and roots. You'll also fish for crabs. Trap, you will be head chef. Excellent choice, boss. Just wait till you see the tasty dishes I can prepare. Whisker licking good, said my cousin cheerfully. Benjamin, you will help me build our shelter under the tree. Thea continued without missing a beat. And now, get going. Friends together, mice forever. From my diary. Dear diary, I'm writing on this banana leaf because there is no paper left. It took us three days to build our hut under the big tree. What a project. We all pitched in with Thea squeaking out orders like an army general. I think she's getting a little too into her job as leader, but that's just between you and me, diary. I don't want to end up on bathroom duty or worse. Speaking of bathrooms, we built one in our hut. We made a giant wooden wheel to run the water up from the stream. Of course, Thea and Trap are forever fighting over who gets to use the bathroom first. In fact, I can hear them screaming right now. Everything is different on this island, but those two never change. Goodbye, dear diary. I have to rush to the kitchen. Tonight, it's my turn to wash the dishes. Yours, Geronimo. P.S. I have realized that an adventurous life is definitely not my cup of tea. Oh, how I miss my comfy, safe home. Cheese slices. That night, Thea stayed up very late. I wondered what my sister had up her sleeve this time. You just never know with that mouse. Early the next morning, while we were having breakfast, Thea arrived out of breath. Hooray, I did it, she cried, waving the map. Trap jumped. You have to scream so early in the morning, he shouted. You know I'm not awake until I've had my cup of stream cheese. Two sugars hold the milk. Now what is it? Thea jumped onto the table and cleared her throat. I have discovered, she began. Drum roll, please. What? shouted Trap, grabbing her by the tail. What? Thea shot Trap a smug smile. First, I determined our position using the astrolope. Then I checked it with the triangulation and worked out the logarithmon, astral lamp, strangulation, corygnathan, snorted trap. Do you mind speaking English? I hate it when you use such big words. My sister pointed to the map. First, we have to head north towards Moore Water Bay. Then we go around What's the Point Peak and head towards Mohill Mountain. There, we'll find the flea-ridden fur river we follow the river to Hard as Nails Hill, and from there, it should be as easy as pie to find the Emerald Eye. 
At the mention of the world word emerald, Trap put his arm around Thea. Oh, my little cousin, let me be the first to congratulate you, he beamed. Did anyone ever tell you that you are the real genius? So where did you say the tr treasure is exactly? Thea snorted. What is the matter with you? Are your eyes covered with cheese slices? Look here at the map, she squeaked, flapping it under Trap's note. There is an X on it as big as the moon over Mouse Island. Trap just smiled and stroked Thea's paw. My dear, sweet, kind, beautiful, charming little cousin, he said, I suggest we leave tomorrow morning. No, maybe tonight. As a matter of fact, I could be ready to leave right now. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I jumped in. We have to map out our route, calculate the times and the stages of our trip. Trap was getting more and more frantic. What times, what stages? This slime mouth here has already organized everything. We are leaving and that's that, he squeaked. Then he and Thea put their heads together and began discussing the details of the journey. Of all the nerve, it seemed as if I was already left out. Meanwhile, my nephew st sat munching on the last cheese chew with a dreamy expression on his face. Treasure, real honest to good mouse treasure, he murmured, one skull. The plan was to leave at six o'clock the next morning, but by four o'clock, my cousin was already up and about. Ratoons, we are leaving, Trap shouted through the megaphone made by banana leaves. Thea grabbed a coconut and hurled it at his head. Do you realize what time it is? She shrieked, chasing him around our shelter. When I catch you, I'm going to use your fur to make earmuffs. Trap just giggled. If you don't hurry, I'm going to leave without you, he shouted through the megaphone. I am ready to rock, ready to roll, and ready to rumble. Ready to party, ready to go, go, go. Thea was tearing at her whiskers in rage. You are the one who brought him along, she yelled at me. If you don't hurry, I'm leaving without ya. I wanted to say, actually, it was your idea, but I stopped myself. The look in my sister's eyes was murderous. We set out in single file. We marched all day long. By evening, we came to What's the Point Peak. Thea pointed at the map. We have reached the location of the first skull. Listen to this secret message. If you find a big rock, the color of cheese, don't run around, don't even sneeze. Somewhat puzzled, I looked around. This must be the rock on the map, I said, pointed, pointing to a round cheddar colored boulder. It looks good enough to eat. I took a few steps forward but there is nothing to see here. Just some sand, actually a whole bunch of sit. I didn't get to finish my sentence. I was beginning to sink. Look at me, I giggled. Hee hee, look at the sand has reached my ankles. Oh no, my knees. Thea's eyes opened wide. She was not laughing. Geronimo, I have bad news for you, she called. Hmm, what bad news? I asked, watching the funny sand. Geronimo, my sister squeaked. I think that's quicksand. I gulped. Thundering cattails, quicksand, I shrieked. Help! The sand was already reaching my belly button. Stop flapping your arms, shouted Thea, holding her paw out. But I kept flapping and flapping. Help! I shouted as the sand reached my ears. Trap raced over carrying a long green vine from a nearby tree. Grab hold of this, cousin, if you ever want to squeak again, he cried. And that's it, guys. Part eight is going to start with two skulls. So we'll continue there. I hope you guys enjoyed part seven.